Hey everyone, welcome back. Day 16, our final day in China, and we're gonna have an amazing time. But as you can see, we traveled all over China, including all the way to Tibet, to the Yangtze River, the Three Gorges Dam. We went everywhere, even to Hangzhou. We had a fantastic time, but we're gonna end it on a high note because we're gonna go see Hugh at Springfield Marine about two hours north of Shanghai. Now he has a fabulous manufacturing plant. They're huge, 350 employees. And we're gonna go there and see everything he's doing with lean. But first in the evening when we got there, we had to go get some street food and it was fantastic. Hugh took us out. We had a great time, very spicy in the morning. We went over and got some street food for breakfast, which I love, this is a great little place to do that and then we went to their morning meeting so Hugh is doing a fabulous job and he starts off by training his leadership team every morning for five minutes going over the standards then the leadership team goes around during the 3s period and then they go and further develop all the other team members and teach them lean principles and how to do continuous improvement and then they go to the morning meeting Yes, time we have music going and then the music will ring and we'll have four minutes. Everyone in the factory will have four minutes to get to the meeting location. So no one's late, no one's confused, no one's checking their times while they're cleaning. They just clean and right strong audio controls. It just it really is remarkable to see everyone working so diligently on 3Sing and making improvements. Now, this is completely foreign to them because a year ago they weren't doing any of this. And now it's common fare. It's what they all do all the time. Even cutting tools into Kaizen foam, it's really incredible. Cleaning the windows, you'd think you're almost in Japan, wouldn't you? It's all happening in China under Hugh's leadership and it's really remarkable. They're setting a great example of what it's supposed to look like when people work as a team to improve everything so work can become easier. There's no reason to struggle. Well, if you take the time to slow down, you can actually do that. And Hugh shows a great improvement that he learned from CD Matters in Ireland. They just sweep everything into this little trough and then the trough, everything sweeps into the trash can, keeps everything nice and neat the entire time. Thank you, CD Matters. And then on to the morning meeting. Now the morning meeting is incredible. To see this many people assemble every morning for a morning meeting is incredible. They have a, a great, keynote presentation, PowerPoint presentation. They run through all the different things. These are improvement videos they're playing. So people are making improvements and then they bring the people up after they've stretched and they talk about the different wastes they've eliminated. It's really, it's almost hard to even comprehend that this is happening. Again, more improvement videos, either the eight wastes in Chinese. They have someone come up and talk about the wastes that they've eliminated on every one of their improvements and they do more stretching. Then they do more improvement videos and they even have a video that demonstrates how their product works. And they've got people in the office showing their improvements. So this person is actually showing the office improvements and how they cut down time and eliminate waste. And this gal is going over their products and making sure everyone understands what they're building and why they're building it and who the customer is. They're doing everything right. Now, is it perfect? No, it's not perfect, but Hugh's just getting going here. They've been at it about a year and they just keep making more and more advances all the time. Now, this is my third time there and every time it just keeps getting better. So proud of all the hard work that's happening. Carolyn, his mother, who's the owner of the company, uh, the father and the mother started the company. It's just really remarkable. She got up there and talked to everyone. And imagine this, the American flag and the communist flag next to each other. It seems surreal, but in China, anything's possible. This is their leadership team. We took a quick picture and we had a great time. Then they got me back to Udang Airport, which was fantastic. Day 16, China, we had an epic trip. Hopefully you've enjoyed the series. Thanks a lot.